Hey folks, how you doing? This is the Wayne S. Pierce Show Podcast. The Wayne S. Pierce Show Podcast. Go to the Wayne S. Pierce Show dot weebly dot com and check things out there if you would please uh, another half hour podcast for you it's just uh i was gonna do a live show but it's just so much going on that i need time to prep for the views express live today at 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern so I wanted to do a half-hour podcast that that way you wouldn't miss the show, you know, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So uh, I wanted to get this out here and tell you that uh, uh, people are very, very critical about everything under the sun. Why? Because it's not their way. The bottom line, it's not their way. If, you know, anybody in the alternative media is speaking the truth or telling you the truth with the facts like I am sharing the truth uh, sharing the truth with you one fact at a time if people criticize me I'm gonna put me in this uh, illustration here if people are criticizing me for what I say I don't see them doing any better I don't see them getting the facts out I don't see them exposing the lies and and tearing down the walls of of the tyranny that is currently in our in our nation I don't see them doing any better I don't see them wanting to do any better they want everybody else to do it well let me tell you something shut your big damn pie hole you have no right to criticize me for something you don't understand and if you don't understand it you better take the responsibility upon yourself to go learn about it you better take the information that you find and assess it for what it is and find the facts or shut your damn pie hole if you can do better than me build yourself a show if you can do better than anybody else do it and if all you're gonna do is get on Spreaker or talk shoe or blog talk and just criticize everybody else for for what they're talking about and saying oh don't listen to that Wayne Pierce he doesn't know what he's talking about he's you know he he's a one of them far-right uh, wing con, uh, you know conservative conspiracy theorists and all this and that. if you're gonna do that or if you're going to sit there and do a show and say, well, you know, uh, I don't care. He talks about, oh, I don't know, and I don't care. If you're going to be one of those apathetic fools out there, then shut your big damn pie hole. I'll walk away from you. I'll let you, you know, rot in the corner somewhere because you absolutely positively do not know what you're talking about when you criticize me for whatever it is you don't understand hey i told you last year i'm not going to pull any punches in 2014 and i haven't yet you want to email me you can email me let me know what you think Come join me on the Views Express Live at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. Come in the chat room on the Spreaker side of things at Spreaker.com slash user slash Free Liberty Radio. Come on in to the Spreaker chat and tell me what you think. I'd like to know. I'd like to know why you can't understand me. Seriously. And why you want to criticize me. Seriously. And by the way, I know the trolls that come into my chat room. So I will ban you every day if you come in under another name. I already know who you are. So don't even try it. Don't even try it. What's that moving in the shadows? 
Clara Normal Talk Radio with your host, Steve Hembry, right here on RadioKahuna.com. Sharing the truth, one fact at a time. Defending liberty and freedom. Fighting the new world order. This is the Free America Radio Network. Hey folks, this is the Wayne S. Pierce Show podcast. I was supposed to have a live show, but I got too much going on. So another 30 minutes, I usually have an hour podcast, but I'm cutting it to 30 minutes today. So much stuff going on. Just so much. If you want to know more, please email me at freeamericaradio at unseen.is. Freeamericaradio at unseen.is. Please ask. No question is off limits. Ask me anything you like. If I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. Okay? It's no big deal. Go go to the Wayne S. Pierce Show dot weebly dot com for more information. The uh, the act of rebellion, what is it? The act of rebellion, basically breaking it down to the most simplest way that people look, can understand, it is this. You know within yourself what is right and wrong. No one has to teach you that. Intuitively, you know what is right and wrong. You know that... Uh, two people fighting is wrong. You know that someone coming against you trying to take stuff from you is wrong and you're going to do everything you can to defend yourself. Am I right? The act of rebellion is basically seeing what is wrong and defending yourself against it or fighting against it to make the changes to be more positive instead of being more evil or bad or negative or whatever else you want to call it. The act of rebellion is also a, a part of your own personal self-responsibility of taking care of yourself and surviving. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people, you know, have this feeling that, well, you know, if somebody else is doing well around me, I'll take from that and do well for myself. No. If other people are doing well around you and you're sitting there on your keister doing nothing, then you are not doing something in regards to understanding your own self-responsibility. What are you waiting for crumbs from the other people doing what's <laughs> how well they're doing? They're going to throw you crumbs and you're hoping? No, 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 no. You know, I do these shows, I do the Views Express Live, the Wayne S. Pierce Show, and I, and I try to help people understand that we all have that, that, that obligation, that duty to rebel against a tyrannical or negative society, or a negative government, or a tyrannical government. We had, that is part of our uh, responsibility to ourself and to our families and to our neighbors and to our neighborhoods. And, you know, you got the domestic terrorists, the gang members that graffiti everything in your neighborhood. What are you going to do? Just go in and close your door. Those domestic terrorists win when you don't do anything. You, you, you see what I'm saying here? Those people in Washington, D.C. win and win the game when you don't do anything. Their sole hope and purpose is to put you in such a state of mind to where you won't do anything. I'm here to tell you that you have to. The act of rebellion is the obligation that you have and the duty you have to your, to your nation, to your city, to your family, to your friends, to your neighborhood 
to stand up, rise up, and defend your liberties and freedoms against the tyranny in your city, in your county, in your state, in your government. That is rebellion. Now, whether or not you want to do that, you have to decide that on your own. But if you want the domestic terrorists, the gang members, Mexican, Asian, whatever, even whites, if you want the gang members in your city to overrun your city and to terrorize you, to keep you in your house, well, you just take that little microcosm of what's happening in your neighborhood and you stretched out, uh, stretched that out among the United States of America. Because that's exactly what's happening. And you're sitting there listening to your stupid MSNBCs and and all your networks and all your Fox stations and all this, you know, and, 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 and you've put yourself in a position to where you don't want to do anything. Oh, I don't want to rise up. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get thrown in jail. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. If our founding fathers who led armies against the uh, tyranny of the British Empire thought that, believe that, held to that principle, we wouldn't be the United States of America. Oh, and let me share you some more truth, people, with facts. This is not the United States of America. This is a corporate state of America. It's owned and regulated by corporations and by the banks. That's what it is. We're living in a country with dual principles. One, the corporations run everything. And they allow, number two, you and I to believe that we're free. So I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear anybody criticize me for something they don't understand. If, if you don't understand it, go out and learn more about it. And if you think you can do a better show than I can and reveal the facts and who's pushing the buttons and pulling the handles behind the scenes, you do it. You don't have the balls, nor do you have the information that I have. But if you can, you go right ahead and do that. You go right ahead and step up to the plate and get into the alternative media and get into the uh, uh, revealing all the truth behind the scenes. And I'm speaking to all my critics out there as well. I know a few people that say that that they're, you know, they're liberal, but they're in the middle or or they support this presidential candidate on the Republican side or the Democratic side or whatever, you know. Um, they're the people on the outside of the ballpark that can't get in that are, uh, you know, spouting off all kinds of stuff to make people feel sorry for them so that they would give them a ticket to get in to see the game. That's who they are. Okay. That's who they are. I've spent my life sitting down with various people from the Democratic Party, from the Republican Party, from the Independent Party, even nonpartisan people. I don't affiliate myself with any of the parties. And you know what's come out of their camps, out of the Democratic and Republican camps? The same talking points. We want to do this and we want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. You're a Democrat. Yeah. I go to the Republicans. I talk to them. We want to do this and we want to do that. Yeah. You sound like the Democrats. Oh, really? Oh, then we have to do this and we have to do that. They backtrack. There is no Democratic or Republican Party. It's all one and the same. There's, you know, people are running from those corrupt systems and beginning not beginning, or they have begun coalescing together in an organization or in a 
uh, I don't even want to call it a party. They're just coming together as Americans, as citizens, and saying we've had enough. I don't know what else to tell you. I really don't. Either you assess the situation for what it is, you do your homework and find out more about it, and stop criticizing everybody under the sun for things you don't understand, or you're going to be left out in the cold. Seriously. Get your morning started with the Morning Brew on 92.6 The Blitz. Music from the 60s, 70s, and more. The Blitz 92.6. Go to radiorocktheblitz.blogspot.com. Misfit, Samo misfit, misfit is a misfit. Samo. Ignorant of hygiene, destructive, disorderly, and totally disrespectful. It's the 515 with Samo on Samo Radio. AM 1700, Daytona Beach, Holly Hill. And Southnet One. Did you know that the first Matrix was designed to be a perfect human world where none suffered, where everyone would be happy? It was a disaster. No one would accept the program. Entire crops were lost. Some believed that we lacked the programming language to describe your perfect world, but I believe that as a species, human beings define their reality through misery and suffering. So the perfect world was a dream that your primitive cerebrum kept trying to wake up from. Which is why the Matrix was redesigned to this, the peak of your civilization. Sharing the truth, one fact at a time. Defending liberty and freedom. Fighting the new world order. This is the Free America Radio Network. Yes, folks, this is the Free America Radio Network. This is the Wayne S. Pierce Show podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You can go to thewaynespierceshow.weebly.com or email me at freeamericaradio at unseen.is. Radio at unseen.is. So where are we right now? Where are we in the whole scheme of things when it comes to our government? We are minions. We would, I don't even want to call us that because we're better than that. We are free American citizens. We are free citizens of a sovereign nation. At least that's what they want us to believe. Let me tell you what we are. We're human beings. We're human beings that want to survive. We want to survive because we have families and we want our families to be free and liberated and secure in a country that you and I build. Okay. I say that because, and I, and I say that as a, as I'm using the example of Iceland, Iceland got sick and tired of their politicians, got sick and tired of their bankers, got sick and tired of the European union and said, get the hell out. And they arrested the corrupt bankers. They threw the EU out. They threw the politicians out. They collapsed their country. They rewrote the constitution that they have, and they made their way into the world as an independent nation. That's what we were supposed to be up until 1871, when it became the corporation of the United States. Why do you think we have so many summary laws? Why do you think we have so many trading packs and and treaties with people? Because we are a corporation. This is United States Incorporated, not not the United States of America. Okay? So think about that one, folks. 
all your history books from the time you were in high school, from the time your kids were in high school, from the time your grandkids were in high school, think about this. They completely lied to you. And you're sitting there taking it? You're sitting there with your butt up in the air going, screw me now. Because that's all you know. Because there are too many people out there that have this attitude of gimme, gimme, gimme. Give me what I want because I deserve it. I deserve to be happy. No, you deserve to get your ass up off the couch and go out and create something for yourself to make yourself happy. I know many people on disability, on Social Security disability, on disability who have worked and all this in the past, but they say they can't now. And I know these people. And when you talk to them, they'll eventually get to the point where, where they will look at you and say, I deserve this. Well, that's bad enough. But it's when they say, the government has to give it to me because I deserve this. No. Whatever you receive from the government in whatever manner you, re you receive it in, whether it be welfare, social security, disability, whatever, you're enslaved to them. You've become the slave to them. There isn't any leeway whatsoever. They tell you how much money you're going to get for food stamps. They're going to tell you how much money they think you can live on. Okay. Bottom line is you're screwed. Anybody on welfare, any any teenager, any young adult in their twenties who, who is on the system, who is taking welfare, has kids and all this, any other thing, you're screwed down the line. You are screwed, okay? They're going to keep that little carrot dangling in front of you, and every once in a while you're going to get a, a piece of it, but they're, gonna, they're screwing you. Social Security is a Ponzi scheme. It's nothing but a fraud. The welfare system uh, is meant to enslave people. Go look at all the rules. Go look at how it was developed. Uh, income taxes is nothing but a Ponzi scheme. Oh, yeah. But we need that to help pay for, uh, 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 yeah, right. What is it paying for? Not a damn thing. It's paying for this current president, this current fascist in the White House to take $4 million vacations to Hawaii f four or five times a year. Okay. But we need it for our military. No, we don't. Military is cutting spending. Not only that, the military, no, I shouldn't say the military. The White House is cutting defense spending. In other words, your tax dollars, less of them are going to the military. Not only that, they're cutting all the benefits for the vets coming back. Do you have a son, a daughter, a father, a mother, an uncle, an aunt coming back from Afghanistan or Iraq? Their benefits are gone. Okay? They're not getting crap for it. Do you understand that? And then they have the gall to say, we have the most powerful military in the, in the world. No, we don't. You're gutting it. These people in Washington, D.C., my message is stop gutting the military. They deserve to get paid a hell of a lot more than what they get paid. And when they come out and do their, you know, their processing out of the military or if they're in the guard or whatever it is, Every single benefit, 
such as medical, dental, vision, whatever, should be absolutely, positively, 100% free. Well, somebody's got to pay for it. What part of free don't you understand? If illegal aliens can come over the border into uh, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, Nevada, or any place else and get everything handed to them, hey, kick their ass out now and give everything to our military absolutely free. Period. But if you're going to sit there and criticize me for something you don't understand, and if you're going to say that I don't get it, that I don't understand it, hey, stop criticizing me and help me understand it. Or else shut your big damn pie hole, because you ain't got nothing to say. Now, I know that people are going to all pissed off at me and say, well, you know, I can say anything I want. I got a First Amendment right. You don't know the Constitution back and forwards like I do. Go read it. Go interpret it. Go look at every single thing on that. And then come back to tell me that you have a right. Come back to me and tell me that you don't understand the things that I talk about. Come back to me and criticize me for things you don't understand. I guarantee you, I'll set you straight. I ain't pulling back and I'm not holding back nothing in 2014. If you're stupid, I'm calling you out. If you think you can do a better job at what I do, go do it. It's as simple as that. I didn't want to rant on that. I wanted to talk about something else. And I'm sorry I'm only doing a half hour today, but I wanted to get into Fukushima. I wanted to get into, you know, this whole uh, fiasco with, you know, what's happening with with uh, Obama and the military and all. I, I wanted to get more in depth on that. Sorry, I got into ranting, but, you know, I'm sick and tired of people telling me I'm wrong. I'm not wrong from my perspective. But if you think you can do something better, you go right ahead and do it. There's TalkShoe.com. There's BlogTalkRadio.com. Uh, there's Spreaker.com. There's a bunch of other places out there. You can take Audacity and load it up and make your own podcast and upload it wherever you want. But you don't have the facts that I have. And I don't have all of them, and I'm not always right, yet I'm not always wrong either. But you better be prepared when you come against me, because I will shoot holes in every single theory that you have. Again, I'm not always right, and I'm not always wrong, and I don't have all the answers. But stop criticizing me for something you don't understand. Get out there and start figuring it all out on your own. Hell, you might come up with stuff that I didn't even think about. So anyway. Anyway. I'm going to go away now. Come join me on the Views Express Live. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Spreaker.com. Go to... Go to the Wayne S. Pierce Show. Weebly.com. Also, freeamericaradio.us. And I will talk to you later. Free America Radio at unseen.is. <laughs> <laughs>